Today I have a fun recipe for you, ramen noodles! Hi guys and welcome back to Kiss Gluten Bye Bye! We were on our routine Costco run and I happened to see these gluten-free ramen noodles. Ramen noodles are usually known to be a quick and easy dinner option. They come in a microwave form where you just add water and pop it in the microwave for a few minutes. Or another way is to put it on the stove along with the powdered spice mixture that, that's included and water and that's it. It's often associated with college students because it's so cheap and easy to prepare. Today, we are going to use these ramen noodles and make a spicy meal. Let's turn up the heat. This recipe is quick and easy and great for those busy days when you don't want to spend a lot of time in the kitchen. The best part is, it's all cooked in one pot too. That means less dishes to watch. I'm so okay with that. Let me know in the comment section below if you dread doing dishes too. The ingredients for this recipe are ramen noodles. I used the millet and brown rice one. This video is not sponsored by them. I just thought I'd give it a try. One diced onion. This one's quite large, so I'm using half. One medium-sized tomato, diced. Veggies. I'm using peas and carrots, but you can customize it with any veggies. Three tablespoons of oil. Half teaspoon garlic. 2 tablespoons of ketchup, 3 4 teaspoons of curry powder, 3 4 teaspoon of paprika, 1 4 teaspoon of turmeric, half a teaspoon of Cajun seasoning, 3 4 teaspoon of coriander, salt to taste, and 1 tablespoon of lemon juice. Here we go! We will start by adding oil in a pan over medium heat. Once it's hot, add our onions. Saute it until it gets golden brown. Next comes the tomatoes. Mix it a little and cover it up until it gets a little soft. At this time, we're going to add some salt and garlic. Give it a nice stir. And now time for our spices. Put in the paprika, curry powder, turmeric, coriander powder, and Cajun seasoning. Cook the spice on medium heat for a few minutes. We want all the raw spice to cook a little. Now we're going to add a tablespoon of butter. Oops! Did I forget to mention it earlier? Butter is going to help balance all the flavors. And let's be honest, anything with butter tastes better. Just do it. Once the butter is melted and mixed well, add your ketchup and your veggies. Give it a nice mix. Once the veggies are mixed in, add your water. I put in about two cups. And let your water come up to a boil. Add about a tablespoon of lemon juice. If this video is making you hungry, give me a like. Now for the main show, add in your ramen noodle. I'm using three blocks of ramen noodles. We're doing this over medium heat. Just place it in and cover your pot. After a minute or so, flip it over. It doesn't take too long for it to separate and become soft. If you feel like it needs more water at this point, go ahead and add some. You want it to be a little soupy because the noodles will absorb some of the water while cooling down. When done, move it off the hot surface to stop the noodles from cooking further. You don't want it to be overcooked and mushy, do you? Garnish with some green onion before serving and ta-da! All done! Now the big question. Should I eat it with chopsticks or a fork? Hmm, I think I'll stick to the fork. Hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. And if you give it a try, let me know how it turns out in the comment section below. If you enjoyed my recipe, check out my previous videos where I made gluten-free kebabs. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, let's kiss gluten. Bye-bye. Once, once the wet, once the wedges. wedges. <laughs>